Hello, yes, Nick Griffin's Brexit betrayal. I've left a link below to the Alliance for Peace and Freedom blog, an article posted on there the 7th of December, I think, by Nick Griffin, why he believes Brexit won't happen and the Tories uh, will betray Brexit and 17.4 million people. And to be honest, I'm inclined to agree with them. The treacherous Tories will indeed live up to their name, just like Margaret Thatcher did in 1979 with her, we are being swamp speech and then flooded Britain with immigrants once she was elected. That's the nature of the Tories. You know where you are with Trotsky and Corbyn and all the Reds. At least they're honest what they believe in. Whereas these little England patriotic phonies uh, like the Tory party, there's treacherous swines, them, that lot. But anyway, anyway, uh, Firstly, were Nigel Farage still at the helm of UKIP, he could have organised the coming backlash, if indeed there is such a betrayal, and given the establishment a black eye, sadly he's not. In fact, Henry Bolton, he's the new leader, he's now been involved in um, an extramarital affair with some party member, was it some model or something? It was in the Daily Mail the other day. That's not going to do UKIP any good, is it? But didn't I do a video not too long ago? Is UKIP in safe hands? Well, there you go. But anyway, UKIP with Nigel Farage at the helm could have given the establishment a black eye. Even more so, even more promising, with the BMP still in the hands of Patriots and Nick Griffin still at the helm. The BMP could have hoovered up and harnessed the coming backlash and not give the establishment a black eye, but two black eyes. Sadly, Nick Griffin passed it over to the spies and now has buggered off and left us. Nick Griffin's pushing this reconquista nonsense. Now, we can take Europe back, but it'll take a hundred years. What a load of nonsense, Christ. Who's signing up to that? No one's interested in what's happening last next week, let alone under, under bleeding years. But anyway, is that his cop out? Also, also, I've paid off my credit card, Attack on the Family, a book from the Alliance of Peace and Freedom blog. I've paid for my credit card. You need to deliver it, you thieving swines. But anyway, so... The article, I've left a link below, it's short and sweet, right to the point, and like I've said, I, uh, I'm inclined to agree with Nick Griffin, but Nick Griffin, how about the betrayal of British nationalism? Well, exactly. Okay, thank you.